One day, Frank asked me to stop by the bar. He said he had a little job for me, so of course I showed up. Tom, we got two trucks full of the best liquor coming in from Canada. Sam's gone out to the handoff point to meet him. They're on an old farm outside of town, and we need to get the shipment to the city. I'm sending two trucks out. Paulie's going with one of them. I want you to go with them and keep an eye over everything. Just to make sure it all goes smoothly. Get a car from Ralphie and join up with Paulie over at a warehouse. Paulie will give you some weapons when you get there. Okay, Frank. So what have you got for me today, Ralphie? Hey, t -t 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 Tom. I have he here a new machine for you. It has 65 horsepower, and if you put your foot down, it'll go over 75 miles per hour. They put a new lock on it, but it ain't no problem. Hey, watch. See? It's 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 real easy. You can take this car or something older. Whatever you want. Thanks, Ralphie.
Hey, Tommy. We're going to a farm outside of town to pick up a couple of truckloads of good booze. One of you with us in case of any trouble. But it should be real easy. We don't really have to do nothing. Just be there. The boys will load up the trucks and we'll come back. Sam's already there waiting for us, so probably be drinking more shit before we even get there. I'll do the driving. Cops have been paid off, so there's nothing to worry about. Looks like I could have just stayed home and slept. Hey, if I gotta be up, you gotta be up. <laughs> Let's go. Countryside, stress. You know, we ought to do this more often. Better in the daytime. <laughs> I think you'd rather be with Luigi's little girl. Sarah, right? That's your night shift. <laughs> Lay off. What do you know about it? Same way as everybody else knows. Heck, even Luigi knows you're chasing her. I figure you ain't too bothered. Saved the virginity after all. <laughs> but I bet you stole her right back, huh? Shut up, Paulie. I didn't know you were there. Nah, come on, Tom. I'm kidding. She's a good girl. You're good for each other. I ain't so sure. Uh, somehow I can't imagine coming home and saying, Guess what, Sarah? Had a hell of a day at work today. I had to kill ten people. You can't talk about stuff like that at home. If you don't act like the way they describe you in the papers, and you're good to her, just ignore all that crap. Hey, <laughs> she's loaded. So it seems normal to you to hide who you really are from your own wife your whole life. Don't worry so much. Damn it! What's going on? Sam should be waiting here, but he isn't. Smells fishy. Look, we'll wait here with the trucks. You go quietly, check out what's going on. Thanks for the confidence. Here's some toys to take with you. Alright, so for the first part of this, we just have to run all the way to the back. There isn't anything to, any mobs or anything that you have to kill until you get to the very back. And there's a little cut sequence, so just run through the little farm. Hey, yeah, your friend, he's fallen sick. Who are you? Are you from the police? Yeah, Mr. Morello and the sheriff would like to send their regards and inform you that from this point on, they'll be taking over your duties here. <laughs> and get his ammo. You will need all the ammo you can get again. It's a recur reoccurring theme in this game. Now you're going to want to take your time when you go through the farmhouses. Um, for the most part the mobs are in predictable places but sometimes they change it up a little bit. So in the first one, there's a guy behind the door. So just sneak back in there and pop him, and then use the crates for cover. There's guys up those stairs. 
sometimes they come down the stairs, and sometimes you have to go up after them, so it just sort of depends on different things. Don't grab the health on the wall yet. Wait till later. Sometimes I've noticed that sometimes you can shoot through railings like that and sometimes you can't. So if you feel like your shots are not hitting when they should, then move around the railing. Now on this one you can just run down the street on the way out, but if you come back behind the barn, you can kind of lure them out of that house so you're not like right in front of them when they come out. And it makes it easier to take them out. These are the shotguns. So we've got some range. They're all dead! What? The truck crew. Out there in the back. They wasted them. What? What about Sam? Did you see him? No, I didn't see him. The barn was locked. He might be in there. We ain't leaving without him. We have to go back and get him. Okay, we'll go back. But we gotta find a crowbar or something so we can break open that barn door. Okay, let's go. You boys stay here for now and watch the trucks. Waste anyone who gets within a hundred yards. Besides us, of course. a wooden pole and one of the barns. 
that we passed on the way out. We'll just run back there and Polly will grab it. In that second. It's in the big barn. I think it's on the second floor of that loft area. Yeah, Polly, I think he's pretty sure he runs up the stairs and grabs it. Yeah, he does. Still keep it upgraded. Yeah, so he's got it now. Now there's a bunch of guys that jump right out at you, so you get ready with your shotgun. Just like in the other loft scene, there's another guy hiding just up the stairs, so go up the stairs backwards. That was a massacre. This is one hell of a night. It looks like they want to get us completely out of the picture. Yeah? Well, that ain't gonna be so easy. Is Sam okay upstairs? Yeah, he's okay. At least he isn't any worse. Okay, I'll get him. You keep watch here. Sam, it's me, Paulie. Come on, we're going home. Oh. <laughs> we're going to the doctor. It was so good. Be coming down with something. Hmm. I guess so. Your nose is running a little. Ah. Sam, I'll put you in the back. Tom will be with you, just in case. Okay. Tom, go with him. We'll keep an eye out. He's a Thompson if you need it. Got it. Holly, looks like we got more company. There's a Thompson and some ammo back there. Get behind those crates and watch out. Fire as soon as they get behind us. Make sure they don't get past us. Okay. Now 
on this one, don't waste your time trying to blow up the car. Just try to shoot the driver. Because they come right up on you. If you can take out the driver, then the car will stop. We're here. Tom, get Sam ready. I'll go wake the doc up. Sam, we're at the doctor. God, is that you, Polly? What are you doing here so late? Good evening, doc. I'm sorry, but we had an accident, and we need your help. Okay, where is he? Bring him inside. Okay. That was our doctor. Doesn't ask questions. And Sam's in good company. Are you sure that he isn't just an untrained butcher? Definitely not. He's the best. The best paid doctor in the city. If you get hurt, he'll be thankful that we have him. Okay. I hope he'll do his best for Sam. At least that's all over. We could have all ended up a lot worse off than Sam did. When I catch that bastard who double crossed us, I tear his head off. It looks like someone has had enough of us. It sure does. I don't know about you, but I'm going to get a shadow of something. When the Don finds out what happened, there'll be hell to pay. This means a real war, and it ain't good. It certainly ain't. All right. So good night, Tom. Have a good night. Or at least try to have one. Now, technically the mission's over, you could just go back to the bar, but we get the option to go visit Lucas <coughs> and uh, we'll get a, a new car. So we'll go ahead and do that. It's pretty much just like all the other Lucas missions, you go talk to him and he has you go do some mundane job and then, you, and then you come back and he tells you where to steal a car. This one I think he just has you go and alert one of his friends to the possibility of you know police coming so anyway it's it's pretty straightforward
Tommy, you come like a gift from heaven. A stoolie just called me and said that the cops want to pick one of my friends up. Hey, we gotta let him know as fast as possible. He lives in a house in Hoboken. Could you go and warn him? Okay, Lucas. What is it? What do you want this time of night? Lucas Bertoni sent me. You gotta disappear. The cops will be here any minute. Shit. Thank Lucas for me. And you too, of course. I better go out the back so no one sees me. Goodbye. Good luck. So, what? Fine, went well. He thanked you and then quickly disappeared. Oh, thank God. Hey, I have a reward for you, Tommy.
Hey, this is totally new. It's a little different than his other cars. It's the first line of cars with an aerodynamic form. Yeah, hey, they look pretty sharp to me, but many people don't like them. Yeah, the main thing is that it purrs like a kitten, yeah. And you can snag one easy. You just stick this wire in here, boom, that's it. One guy who lives in Oakwood has the same model. He parks it in front of the garage next to his house, eh? Great, thanks. 